Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video, as the title says below, is going to be my February TBR, my February reads and studies. So I'm going to let you guys know what the plan is for the month of February. It is February 4th as I am making this video. This video probably won't be up until the second or third Saturday of the month, unfortunately, because I have other videos in plan. But um, yes, again, I said this in the previous video, which was my January reads and studies that uh, my voice, I lost it for a couple of days. Um, it's not fully back. I probably shouldn't be making these videos, but I wanted to make them anyway, so I'm sorry about my voice, but I wanted to come on and do this for you guys. So, this month, the only plan is to study John. That's, that's it. Um, it's the 4th of February, and so far, I have not started. We will be starting the John Bible study this month. Um, I just don't. So pray for me on that, guys. Thank you. Um, so moving on to nonfiction. So for nonfiction, the first book I'm going to be reading is Goliath Must Fall by Louis Giglio. This is a reread for me, but this is a February book pick for DOI's book club. And I love this book so much. So he really focuses on Samuel, 2 Samuel 17, I think it is. Um, if that's the wrong chapter then i'll put the right one on the screen but um the story of david and goliath he really goes into that and he talks about i think six specific things that are like goliaths in our life which are like addictions and fear comfort um and rejection and things like that um but he also tries to get us to understand that we are not the david in the story of david and goliath we're more like the israelites and david is more so jesus which when i read that it really changed my perspective on a lot of things um, because normally when you hear about David and Goliath, people tell you to be like David and, do, you know, be like David and be like David. That's what they tell you. But when you think about it, you're more like the Israelites who are afraid of Goliath. And then Jesus is the David that comes and slay your giant. So, yeah, um, we have that. We have started this week. We are doing um, the overture, I think it is, to chapters three. Um, by the time you see this, I believe we'll be ending week two. But, um, yeah, I'm also including the study guide with that. I have read the book already. I started the study guide, but ended up stopping after session two. So I'm going to be getting into this. And I'm also going to be uploading the session studies into the Facebook group. So if you are not a part of the Facebook group, definitely join the Facebook group because we're diving into this book. And I'm, like, so excited for you ladies to really read it. Um, so, yeah, he goes through fear, rejection, rejection, comfort, anger, and addiction. And how those are kind of like um, the Goliaths in our lives. Of course, there's other things in our lives that could be a Goliath. But he focuses on that, and I really think it's great. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. The next two books are going to be my sort of devotionals for the month so the first one is make your voice heard in heaven by barry c black i have read and reviewed this book before but again it was one of those quick ones that i had to do for the blog but i am rereading this it is 15 chapters so i'm doing this in 15 days and um i am enjoying it so far um he just talks about different ways to pray and this is written by the current chaplain of the united states senate barry black he is a black man um do i have his photo in the back yes here it is and um, he just talks about uh, how prayers can unleash God's power, increase your partnership with God's will, deepen your intimacy with God, strengthen your desire to live a God-pleasing life, and help you avoid missing God's blessings and more. And the chapter titles are phenomenal. You got Pray With Assistance, Pray With Purity, Pray Fearlessly, Pray With Effectiveness, Pray With Patience, Pray With Celebration, Pray With Intimacy, Pray With Fervency, Pray With Perseverance, Pray With Submission, and just... Pray when God is silent. Pray when you don't feel like being good. Pray to escape the squeeze of temptations. I just, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm on day, day four, so I have to do chapter five tomorrow. But um, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I think this is great, but I'm using it as my devotional um, for the next 15 days. And then following that, the next book I'll be using as my sort of devotional is going to be The Wait by Devon Franklin and Megan Good. I adore their story um i know who megan good is i used to watch all the movies on bet watch all the music videos on bet back then so i know who megan good is and to see her life change um after she met this man of god and just to be able to hear him pray and speak about god openly and freely and how their 
romance just really was based on the foundation of god first i thought it was phenomenal and i've been dying to read this i have the ebook tried it multiple times but the fact that i have a physical copy now i'm excited for um it just says a powerful practice for finding the love of your life and the life you love um so i think it is phenomenal here they are on the back they're just her glow up is amazing um this book has nine chapters if you include the introduction that's 10 so um this will be a sort of 10 day devotional for me in which i read one chapter a day and really just dive deep into it as a devotional and i'm excited for that so we have this so following that we're going to get into fiction so i have five fictional books the first one is going to be an arc that it comes out in march so i have to read it this month reading blog of course is coming that is going to be the fourth and final book in the cities of refuge series by Miss Connie Lynn Cassette. Like, like, like fames in the night. My heart is not ready for the end. Um, I've noticed that a lot of like my favorite trilogies and series are ending. And I'm sad um, because I love Mariah and I love Derek and I just love their children. And this book, I believe, is based on the youngest daughter, Terza. And at this time, um, Mariah is free to go home because the priest, the high priest that put her in has died. And when the high priest dies, you can now return back. And also because the person that was after her is no longer around. So I'm excited to see how this goes, where it goes, what happens. Just I'm excited but heartbroken. Um, I'm, yeah, I have a physical copy of this book coming. But I have the e-arc and I just, I, I, mm, mm. I'm going to try to read this book in a day, but it might be a two-day reading vlog, but yeah, no words. No words. Okay, moving on. The next book I'm going to read is The Pharaoh's Daughter by Misu Andrews, a biblical fiction. I'm going to be reading this ahead of you guys. This is our March book club pick. We are doing um, non-fiction fiction, non-fiction, non stuff like that back and forth, but I'm going to be reading this ahead of you guys just so that I can get into it. Um, I have it broken down into three-day readings, but... um yeah i'm excited i know that jenna van Maurick here on youtube just clicked the i to go to her channel this i believe is her favorite biblical fiction or one of the first biblical fiction books she read and she always raves about it i do own the sequel which is Miriam. i had an e-arc of it then i bought the physical copy so i'm excited to read this um this one focuses on the life of moses when he was a baby but through the eyes of the pharaoh's daughter who found him can't remember her name um i, I don't know her name can't remember her name but the Pharaoh's daughter that found him. That's who this is based off of. So I'm excited to get into this and read it and love it. Yeah. Okay, the next one is going to be Queen of Sheba by Roberta Kale's Door. Sorry. Um, and this is all about the Queen of Sheba and Solomon. I got this book for review a year ago. Contacted the publishing company and asked for a review copy. Still haven't read it, so my goal is to read it this month. Um, especially because it's February... Solomon is all about love. I figured, why not read it? Um, and, yeah. It says, the wisest king of antiquity encounters a stunning queen who he cannot possess. Bathe in riches beyond imagination and a love story as magnificent in ancient times as it is today. So, I'm excited to read this. It looks like it's a really short read. Um, and we have Bathsheba in here. I'm wondering if Abishag is in this too. I don't know, but I'm excited to read this. So we have this book. Okay, and the last two books I gotta read because, like I said, if you watch my January wrap up, um, The End of Left Behind by Terry, Terry, by Tim LaHaye and Jerry P. Jenkins just killed me. So we have the sequel, which is Tribulation Force. This one says a continuing drama of those left behind. So it picks up with Rayford, Buck, Bruce, and I can't remember Rayford's daughter's name. Why can't I remember her name? Chloe. So it picks up with them after the st stupid stunt of Nikolai Carpathian. And then I want to read book three, which is called Nikolai, which I'm assuming focuses on Nikolai. Mmm... Oh, wait, I don't, okay, I don't want to read that. See, I just, I just spoiled myself for something that's going to happen in book two, see? But yeah, these two books, I just, I, I need to know. And I'm, I'm going to throw them both there because they're really short reads. And I also listen to the audiobooks through Libby um, as I read. So I find that they're pretty good books to read. This book is exactly 300 pages. And this one is 
271. Yeah, this one is 271 pages. So it is a 13 book series. And then they have the prequel trilogy, which is three books. So it's like 16 books total. There's also a kids version of this series as well, which I'm debating if I want to read after this. But um, we need to read, okay? But that is pretty much it for my Jane, my February, excuse me, my February reads and studies. Nothing extensive, just trying to lay low because, like I said, I have thousands of books to read that are by black authors. And if you guys are interested in knowing the other books that I'm going to be reading by black authors that are secular, like my fantasy and romances and my contemporaries, just click the on the screen to go to my book channel, Nays Pink Bookshelf, um, because I have a whole video on, like, the books that I'll be reading for February, um, but yeah, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, join the sister hub, become a daughter of increase or a son of increase. If you are subscribed, click the bell to stay notified and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.